Hello, I'm Nadia Nogueira, and I'm here with Carrie Molitor. She's a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, and we're going to talk about the recent changes in the Canadian citizenship law. Hi, Carrie. Thank you for being here with us. So, could you tell us a little bit about these changes that uh, happen in the Canadian citizenship law? There are many proposed changes right now, but so far the only one that's in effect is a change to the citizenship fees. They used to be $400 and have now been increased to $630 total for the application process, but the fees for children are still the same at $100 per child. I see. In your opinion, what are some key changes that new applicants should focus more on at this point? I think the most important thing for applicants to focus on is the change to the residency requirements that's coming up. It used to be that a person had to spend three years out of four to apply for citizenship, and this is going to be changing to four years out of six. I see. Um, what changes have been made on the language requirements? So the change to the language requirement relates to the age range of people who need to take the language test in either English or French. It used to be that people between 18 and 54 had to write the language test, and in this case it's now about to change to people between 14 and 64. I see. Um, and what impact this change will have on immigrants that are already here and they haven't applied yet? The new rules will apply to people who are sending in their applications after the rules come into effect. And when's the deadline for that? At the current time, it's anticipated that the changes will happen in June 2015. What will happen with people who applied before the change come to effect? It's anticipated that applications will be processed under the old system up until the rules change, and people who apply after the date the changes come into effect will fall under the new system. What should people know um, before applying for Canadian citizenship? People who are expecting to apply for Canadian citizenship after the new rules come into effect should be aware, first of all, whether they meet the correct number of days of residency in Canada, and also they need to show that they'll be intending to stay in Canada once they become citizens. Uh, Canada is trying to avoid people who gain the citizenship but aren't here to contribute to the country. Um, there's anything else that applicants should keep in mind about uh, the Canadian citizenship law? The main thing to keep in mind is that applications need to be correct and true. So people need to find out their exact dates that they've been inside and outside of Canada, and those can be obtained by contacting the government for a copy of their entry and exit records. Um, thank you for your time and for all the information that you share here with us today. You're welcome.